Let's have a look at question number 15. Quite a good question which you can expect in the paper to come up and you can solve it either by using simple properties or by using symmetry also to uh, take the question ahead. Let's have a detailed understanding what the question is about. <clears throat> the question says, <clears throat> the sides of AB and CD of a trapezium, I repeat, the sides of AB and CD of a trapezium, a, uh, AB, CD are parallel with AB being the smaller side. P is the midpoint of CD and ABPD, which is a part of the trapezium ABCD left over, uh, will be a parallelogram. If the difference between the areas of the parallelogram, which is left over ABPD or newly formed, and the left over triangle, which is BPC, is 10 in number. So the difference in the area is 10 square centimeter. The question is about find the area of the entire trapezium ABCD. Okay, let's try to make this uh, trapezium first and then you'll be able to easily visualize this to solve it in let's say less than one minute of time. <clears throat> They're also saying AB is a smaller side. Let's assume it to be as AB CD. Now they're saying <coughs> P is the midpoint of CD. This is my point CD. Let's assume this to be as point C. So let's join this. Clear? Now <coughs> you can see a triangle which is BPC. I repeat, you will see a triangle which is BPC. And then ABPD, I repeat, ABPD will be a basically a parallelogram. <coughs> now suddenly in this parallelogram, the sides will be equal. <coughs> the sides will be equal. So and this is P is the midpoint. So the size of PD is equal to the length of the CP also. Clear? Let's assume this to be SX. Let's assume this to be SX. And this will also become X. <coughs> this will also become X. Now, if you have to find the area of this triangle BPC, it's going to be given by half into base into height, where we assume B to be SX, right? And let's assume this is my height H. This is my height H. The triangle has a height of H, and similarly, if I draw this perpendicular here, you will also find this height will also be common. This height will also be a common. But what is the area of this parallelogram, which is A, B, P, D? This will be base into height. This will be base into height. Now, my base is also as same as the base of the triangle. My height is also the same. My height is also be the same. So now you will understand that <coughs> this triangle, I repeat, this triangle, uh, read this sentence also very well. Say, it says, the difference between the areas of the parallelogram and the triangle will be equivalent to 10 square centimeter. Will be equivalent to 10 square centimeter. It has also been given to you that the triangle is half base height and then you found that ABPD is X into H. By doing this and then by relating this you will understand that this triangle is basically half of the area of this of this parallelogram. This triangle BPC BPC will be half of the area of the parallelogram which is ABPD. Clear? And if I assume this to be as uh, 2A this will become A. I repeat, if uh, my parallelogram will become 2A, my triangle will become A in terms of area. And they have also said that the difference is basically 10 square centimeter. So ideally 2A minus A will be equal to 10. I will understand that my triangle will have an area of 10 square centimeter and my parallelogram will have an area of 20 square centimeter. And the sum total will be nothing but ABPD plus BPC which will be 20 plus 10 the total area will be equivalent to 30 square centimeter and hence the answer for the given question would be nothing but 30 units or 30 square centimeter.